Cardinal snapper, you know? Just catch a while ago. Oh, what I Grouper. You know, a couple of go like down there, so. Shiny girl. Or queen snapper. Watch your peeps. Look at that. See? Kevin's adventure out here this morning. There's some deep line, me alone. Fish finder on board. Um, they over pan the, they over pan the mighty deep, you know. But the fish finder take a while to pick up the depth, so I wait for them to give me a reading. Um, if you are new to the, if you are new to the channel, guys, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. This this channel is where you learn a lot about fishing, learn about the different type of fish that live on the deep. I have a lot to learn, guys. You have to just pay attention. Yeah, man. So today I'll be doing some deep line. I have this light, this light, um, whenever it comes in contact with the water, um, it lights up. What happens is that the light, I don't know if you can see it, the light attracts the fish that lives in the deep. Because down there it's very dark, you know, so the lights attract the fish. So whenever they see the light, they come to investigate and then when they come, they will see the, the bait, right? And then they will start feeding and I'll catch them. So this morning now, I'm doing some deep line, as I said before, and I'm over in the mighty deep. Afterwards, I'm going to go back into the shallow. I have my electric reel on board this morning so I'll be doing some deep line also in the shallow water like on the 400 500 feet of water and I'll be targeting um the goal eye snappers and the bonefin and the amber jacks so hopefully I can catch some on the shallow and over in the deep I'll be targeting the queen snappers and the cardinal snappers so I'll show you how that goes, right? If you're new to the channel, guys, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get new updates whenever I upload new videos. Uh, let's see how I go today now. As I said, every day is a fishing day, but not a catching day. But hopefully today is a catching day, all right? Okay, yeah, guys, so as you can look, I just set off the bottle. So it's running off right now. So when it reach, I'm going to tie it up and go back into the shallow. Make it just go and soak in the meantime while I'm going to fish in the shallow, right? So stay tuned, guys. Hey yeah guys, line just reach and I just tie it up, you know. Right, see that bottle right there? I refer to that as the docker man. So, what happens is that when the fish pull the line down there, the bottle is going to fly back up and strike the fish down there and catch it. So, it works like a trigger mechanism. I refer to it as docker man, right? So, currently they're upon 1090 feet of water. The reading just come now. It fluctuates between 1080 and 1090. So, see right there? And see so the surface there, guys. Yeah man, so I leave that make it go and soak. I'm gonna go back in the shallow now from the 400 and 500 go go and work. So we can get some gold and bone feet. Right. Yeah guys, just reaching from the shallow water and we pan about 500 and feet of water, 549 feet. I'm just coming and hook up on a fish now. You look on the rod, it's a bend more time. I see it bending more time. So I do put a little tension on it. See? Put a little tension on it and then allow it to go and fish. So other fish will come on and I dry it up shortly. So I'm sure you show you what I'm going to do. Alright, guys? Yeah, man. So remember to like the video, guys. Only on Kevin's adventure, you get them type of thing. So electric reel, you know. It's come from Korea, South Korea. See me? Yeah, and you don't know fish find on board. Modern time, guys, so you have to get to the technology. You yeah, understand me? The back of days fishing not really work. It work, but not to the extent as the modern day fishing car. Technology make the work more easier, so you have to just move with the time, guys. Yeah, so I didn't think I may talk about guys. I just want to raise some funds we can finance things the right way so we can make fishing more efficient. You get me, I say? So, yeah, man, with the pan, as I say, the 500 feet of water, I may look some gold eye. So, I have a feeling this is a gold eye or a bun fin on this, alright? So, so sure you are going. Yeah, guys, see, they are coming up you now. The fish they are coming up for the catch for me. Come on, please. Stop. 
Ritorno. Big goal here, you know? Paratrauma. Paratrauma catch me. See what for bubbles on guys? That's what Baratrauma does. Hey guys, so the first one, yeah? So the first one, yeah? Bar trauma, catch him in see there. Remember, guys, bar trauma is the injury sustained due to the different changes of the pressure of the water, right? So, these fish used to the deep water. So, whenever you pull them up to a more shallow depth, it causes them to get inflated like that, they bloat it. It's the reason why you see eyes bulge out like that, and this thing bulge up in his mouth, right? Yeah, man. So, it's a hard for him to go back down. What you'd have to do is bore a hole on his pectoral fin and bleed out all of that here and but it's not all the times so I guarantee that it's gonna um, save him life you know yeah, but it's a nice snapper nice goal I snap sent back down the line a while ago you know? and as you reach hook a next fish again so what I did hook him up and put a little tension on the line and make it go and fish down there in the pan line so you can see the rudder move So, I'm saying, guys, this makes the fishing more quicker and more efficient. You understand me? It's more convenient because instead of me set the bottle, the amount of bottles and if you drop the line, and you know, although a good exercise still, but it's quicker because sometimes I set the line someplace and the fish is there. That's why the reason why is so we draw some empty trap more time because the fish don't live there. So, so here's you know, if me sink the line here and realize when the fish is there, we can just drop back the real quick and fast and go somewhere else. Then first left the bottle list and come back empty. So, this now more efficient you understand me yes yeah, so i have having fish on this right now so we can catch some more on it and dry it up so so show you what i'm going guys hey yeah, guys I come up with the line i know you know just want to highlight something to you guys all right so you can see the fish are pulling to the right all right so based on the, the speed i'm gonna pull up the fish at it's gonna cause him to get on bar trauma, right? Because I'm pulling him, pulling him up fast from the depths that he's used to, so it's gonna cause him to get bloated. His eyes gonna be swollen and he's gonna get puff up. So when I come up here, I'm gonna my table. Hey guys, line just reach up, you know, and just as I'm predict, bar trauma reaching, you know, bar trauma reaching. They look at the same eye. Kinda slightly bulge out and thing. Yeah. The small one, the one I feel like about um pound. Yeah man, so do that for the morning already. Just drive come back down to one different spot. I go and search out the ground so I send back down the line now and so I go and feed, alright? Yeah guys, so I go back to draw the buckle you now. That soaked for a while now, so I go dry it. And then go back in the the shallow. I don't know if I go set it back. If I don't see the fish pan it, I don't go set it back. So I go back in the shallow and go and work to the breeze. So I go dry this right now. Watch it guys. Just, just drop the line now. Watch it. Queen snapper. Grouper. So and Diego. Queen snapper. There's two fish alone missing on the line. The rest of the line empty. I'll set it back now because I look like fish today. But yeah man, so I'm grouper here. And a queen snapper. Yeah guys, so just set back the back lean up. Just set it back. I'm um, just set it back. Um, set it back. Close, close to the place where so I catch a grouper because normally when I catch a grouper at a spot it's normally a guarantee so more living at the same area so it's good to set back the line close to where you caught the first one so I'm just set it back on the same 1080 feet of water and thing close to the spot not the exact spot but close to where I catch one day um, so I'll go back in a little bit more on the shallow and see if I can catch some more gold eye or some cardinal snapper so I'm probably going up on the um, about six to seven hundred feet of water right now we're going fishing with the electric reel so set back that so i'll go back on the shallow right now guys go fishing see me yeah guys so i'm just coming in pan, um, about 700 feet of water send on line and um, catch a one cardinal snapper here 
So I'm going to put on back a piece from my bait on it and send it back down. Nah. Yeah, guys, after one of the afternoon now, you know. I'm not telling you, I'm in the inland, I'm going to try a thing a while ago from morning, but fish them really not biting them. Slow, 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 bad guys. So come back out from the deep, you know. Um, come back out from the deep now, come see the fish catch from the um, buckle. The set line I'm about here. So I'll dry it up now. And so I'm going. But it's really slow, guys. The weather is perfect, but. Fish them besides them now bite, them just now bite. I'm actually I see them on the fish finder and I see signs of the fish alone there but them just not biting. So I know if they bite over on the deep and check by the draw the line as you know and so on. Yeah guys so I approach the buckle now. Draw it up and so I go. Hopefully I have some fish find again. Yeah guys line just reach up you know. See there? Two more Chinese girl. Managed to catch two more Chinese girl. And the correct name is Queen Snappers. These are Queen Snappers, but you don't know in Jamaica we have a name for everything. Chinese girl, you know? Okay, so we'll just catch two nice Chinese girl. Same spot when we catch a grouper. Close to this, I'm going to drop the line. So show me say, here says a good grub. I'll mark it on the fish finder. As you can see, guys. I mark the spot right here. It's marked. The boat, the boat symbol is covering, but I mark the ear, so I can always find my ear. Yeah, man. So two more to the collection. So my bait up is and set it back again, guys. Yeah, guys, just set it back in. You know. So I go back in at the shallow again. Go go and try it same way. So I can go. And I probably go up on the 900 and the 800. Go go and fish. Guys, uh, I'm going to come in from the 700 and set the line. Okay, it's, it's, something. it's like a lizard fish. Yep. Lizard fish, guys. Yeah, guys, so this is what we call a lizard fish, a mocker rabbit. See? Use them as bait you know, on the deep line. Good bait. I'm going to take them. Favor lizard. Yeah, man, so good bait, this guys. Yeah, so now I bait about the line and send back down there. But when you catch them fishing, I'm going to live on the sun. Sun area. So we know there's sun there. So we need to find somewhere the rock in there. We know the snap out of there. So we go in somewhere near to the rock. Yeah, guys, just come in from the 600 feet of water. Coming from the 600. Right, just like as I can see, 600 and 612 feet of water. And I um, feel a fish grab the line, they're on the line right now. So what I did, um, put on a little tension on the line and set it. So if any other fish there, they will come get catch one, you understand? Guys, line up on now. Yeah, so the, so the fish are going around this one. Line up on now, guys. It's a two fish pond. Yeah, guys, see me. The whole eye and a card in it. Guys, it's now after three. We're there all evening and search and can't find it. But come up on a spot a while ago. If you look right here, so you see some blue marks above the ground. And there are fish. So I've just seen the line a while ago. And see there. Fish from a pull pan line already. You know. I've a fish pan line already. Probably two. Just just reached on a spot here a while ago. You understand? Um, see the fish in there. Look at blue marks. We look above. See the blue marks above the, the green surface, the red and green surface. Look at blue marks above it. Some of them small, but they can't want a big fish today. Yeah, man. By them kind of slope on the inside. Now I really feel them. I've been searching. Now I really feel them. But um, 
Uh, we'll get it about the next hour and then probably head in. Yeah man, sit there. Next goal, you know. Next goal, I. I go up on the mark, guys, and set off again. Um, so fish down there, so we can catch you know. Yeah, make sure you click like on any the video, guys. Yeah guys, just come up on the trot and you know, one of the set. I dry it and you know, I go in because things slow up you know. You know? So I'm just I dry it and so I go and feed you know, guys. Just drop line you know. one cardinal. One cardinal snap all on the to get off right now. I'm bar try my catch him as usual, you know. Yeah, so guys let me show you um the catch for the day, you know. I'll show you what I go on for the day. Yeah man, cardinal snapper, you know, just catch a while ago. Oh, like. Grouper. You know, a couple of those walleye down there, so. Shiny girl, or queen snapper. Wrap up the video, yes, you know. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get new updates whenever I upload new videos. Yeah guys, um, really really appreciate all of you who support the channel You know, I look on it and say how far I come from, you know And still have a far away for go But just want to show my appreciation for all of you who always support the channel Like commenting, liking and sharing the videos, you know Really appreciate you guys, just love you. Yeah man So, continue doing the good work guys And I will continue bringing you good content as well You know, and every day I will catch fish But still showing how I go on out, you know Yeah man Remember guys to watch the ads as well, you know, so we can create a little revenue for get more um, gadgets and you know equipment to make the work more easier. Yeah man, but appreciate it guys. No, no love and respect again. Until the next time guys, fish on, no love and respect.